Hello student, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share really important questions for an ISM mutual fund exam. This video is part of an ISM mutual fund playlist. This is one kind of mock test with you have uh, multiple choice questions. So we will get to practice all the questions along with answers I provided and this will give you a practical exposure to the exam. If you have any doubt regarding any questions, you can ask me in the comment box and I will be pleased to answer those. Let's start. Which of the following transaction is a transaction charge can be deducted? Online purchases, STP purchases are 10,000 and more purchases made on stock exchange. Purchases of 10,000 or more. There are various risk profiling tools available on the internet. The financial planner can use any of this risk profiling. It's just a process. It is false statement. Reason risk profiling is just a tool. And for risk profiling, we have to consider various important factors. What is the relationship between interest rate and real estate prices? They are inversely proportional, so rise in interest rate lead to fall in interest rate prices. One is correct. The unaudited account of mutual fund scheme must be published once in every six months. On AMC website and AMFI website in you know, two newspapers. Both one and two on MC, um, AMC website and in minimum of two newspapers. STT is stash on transactions in debt or debt oriented mutual fund, including liquid fund units, not applicable, it is applicable only for equity related instruments. I mean, does not have a PAN card, he wishes to invest one lakh in a mutual fund scheme, it does not fall into any exempt investor category in which way he can invest he cannot invest as pan card is mandatory he could have invested if he wanted to invest 50,000 through SIP which document is not required for KYC process by mutual fund investor proof of income address identity or pan card proof of income number one is the right answer one of the disclosure which an AMC has to make is the commission paid to distributor, distributor wise amount mobilized in financial year, the annual report and abridged summary, all of the above. The annual report and the abridged summary on the website of AMC, so C is correct answer. What exceptions is made for investment by systematic investment plan if the annual investment is below 50,000? PAN card is not required. Which is the most appropriate measure of evaluating how closely an index fund is tracking its benchmark? It's tracking error. Number three is the correct answer. A company has an EPS of 5 and price to earning ratio of 30. What will be the market price of the share of this company? PE is equal to market price by EPS. So market price is EPS into PE. That is 30. Multiplied by 5. 150 is the correct answer. What would be the most appropriate benchmark for a short term debt scheme? 10 years dated GOI, 3 years dated GOI, 1 year T bill, no such benchmark exists. I think it is 3 years dated GOI, false. It is 1 year 
due to dash the index per scheme performance could be higher or lower than the benchmark it's due to tracking error gaps between the scheme performance and that of the benchmark are called tracking error an index fund manager would seek to minimize the tracking error due to tracking error the scheme performance could be higher or lower than that of benchmark the trustee aims he cannot make any change in fundamental attributes of a scheme unless approval is received from all the unit holders current market valuation of stock of a mutual fund scheme portfolio is rupees 12 crore the current liability is 7 crore the unit capital is 10 crore face value of share is 10 what is the current energy when we is 12 uh, crore plus 12 crore minus 7 crores that is 5 crores 5 crores to divided by 5 5 crore divided by 1 crore unit capital 10 crore divided by 10 base face value so 1 crore is the total number of units so it will be 5 anyway While deciding on investment for his client, what should be the right sequence? Selection of scheme, risk profiling, making a model portfolio. Risk profiling, making model portfolio, selection of scheme. Making model portfolio, risk profiling, selecting a scheme. Select, risk profiling, making a model portfolio, selecting the scheme. What is the NAV? If the value of stock in a mutual fund scheme is 100 crores and the value of bond is 10 crores, value of money market instrument is 25 crores, dividend approved but not received is 3 crores, fee payable is 5 crores, the number of outstanding units is 75 lakhs. So for this value of stock, uh, value of stocks 100 crores. Value of bonds 10 crore, 100 plus 10. Value of money market instrument 25 crore plus 25. Dividend accrued 3 crore. Fee payable. So it should five, one, uh, it should be minus 5. So 133. <coughs> Divide number of outstanding units is 75 lakhs. So divided by 75. It is 137. 137 is the wrong answer. NAV of a unit of mutual fund, a mutual fund scheme is value of bond 100 crore, value of, value of mutual fund schemes value of stock of mutual fund scheme is 100 crore plus value of bond 10 crore value of money market instrument 25 crores dividend accrued 3 crores fee payable 5 crores is equal to 133 and number of outstanding units is 75 lakhs so the correct answer is 177.33. This is the solution 100 crore plus 10 crore plus 25 crore plus 3 crore plus minus 5 crore divided by 75 lakhs. This is 177.33. Ms. Rina purchases mutual fund units at an AV of 30. After 500 days, she redeems it at an AV 15.7. What is the compounded rate of return? Compounded rate of return is 15.7 divided by 
commodities as an asset class does not include food crops industrial metals gold or real estate it is real estate identify which of these statement is false banks and mutual fund both offer the gold deposit scheme this is false gold etf are closed ended funds both a and b are false a is false b is false a is false both a and b are false Gold deposit scheme is offered only by banks to mobilize the idle gold in country and put in productive use and to pro provide customers an opportunity to earn interest in the idle gold holdings. All exchange traded funds are open ended schemes. So, gold ETF is an open ended scheme. An investor in debt mutual fund receives the benefit of dash on long term capital gain indexation or tax exemption only a indexation foreign investor can invest in equity mutual fund scheme registered with sebi after completing kyc process true to maintain neutrality, the all AMCs have same commission structure with respect to commission payable to distributors. Commission structures may vary between AMC to AMC, so all AMC do not have the same commission structure. The valuation of illiquid securities held by a mutual fund is done as per the last traded price of that security on VAC NAC. Norms prescribed by SEBI to arrive at a fair valuation. The average price of bid and ask quotas. The lowest price calculated as per the above three method. is done by the norms prescribed by SEBI to arrive at a future fair valuation. So, P is right. If a charitable trust wishes to invest in a mutual fund which among the following document is not required to be submitted, Memorandum of Association, Trustee, Board Resolution, List of Authorized Signatories, its Memorandum and Article of Association. Advertisements regarding mutual fund schemes shall not contain statement which directly or implications or by omission may mislead the investors. This is true. Risk appetite increases as the number of earning members increase. More earning members mean more income and so the risk taking capacity increases. Mr. Gupta invests with 1 crore in a guild mutual fund scheme and gives a local check at 1 pm, which will be the applicable NAV for allotment of units to Mr. Gupta. Closing NAV of the day on which the application was made, NAV of the business day on which the funds are available for utilization before the cutoff timing. Next business day NAV, closing NAV of the day immediately preceding the application day. NAV of the business day which the funds are available for utilization. The facilities of ASBA is mainly for addition purchase of mutual fund units. False. It's for NFO. Which is the ideal investment class for an investor who wishes to have an edge against inflation and has a long term perspective? Blue chip, gold, real estate, government bond. It is gold. As per said, the 
Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a really important question for an ISM mutual round exam which gets repeated. Please go through these questions before your exams. Question 1. In which of the following transaction a transaction charge can be deducted? Online purchases, systematic transfer transaction, purchases of which 10,000 or more, purchases made on stock exchange. I think it's a C, purchases on 10,000 or more. There are various risk profile tools available on internet. A financial planner can use any of these risk profiling is just a process. State true or false. It's true. No, it's false. Risk profiling is an approach to understand the risk appetite of investor. An essential prerequisite to advise investors on their investment. There are various factors which have influence on risk appetite. Internet risk Profiling tools are useful pointers, but it is important to understand the robustness of such tools before using them in practical world. So the tools featured in website have the limitations. So these tools cannot be used. So the statement, there are various risk profiling tools available on the internet. A financial planner can use any of this risk profiling is just a process is a false statement what is the relationship between interest rate and real estate prices real estate prices rise in interest rate leads to fall in real estate prices this is true The unaudited accounts of mutual fund scheme must be published once in every six months. On AMC website, on IMC website, on minimum of two newspapers, both on AMC website and minimum of two papers. I think fourth is right. STT is dash on transactions in debit or debt oriented mutual fund including liquid funds is applicable not applicable STT is not applicable in case of debt oriented mutual fund Amit does not have a PAN card he wishes to invest 1 lakh in a mutual fund scheme he does not fall into any, any exempt investor category in which way can he invest he cannot invest as PAN card is mandatory. He can sign up for SIP and get an exemption from the requirements of PAN card. He can provide additional prescribed photo proof like Aadhaar card, voter ID card, etc. He can sign up for an SIP and get an exemption from the requirement of PAN card is only for 50,000. So he cannot invest is the right answer. If he doesn't have a PAN card, he can invest up to maximum of 50,000 only through SIP. Which document is not required for KYC process by mutual fund investor? Proof of income, address, proof of identity, PAN card. For KYC process, proof of income is not required. Number one is right. One of the disclosure which an AMC has to make is the commission paid to distributor on financial year on the website of AMC. The distributor wise amount mobilized in financial year on the website of AMC. The annual report scheme wise and arbitrage price survey on the website of AMC. All of the above. False. The disclosure which an AMC has to make is only for annual report, scheme-wise and arbitrage. 
what would be the most appropriate benchmark for a short term debt scheme 10 year dated GOI, 3 years dated GOI, 1 year T bill, no such benchmark. So 1 year T bill. Appropriate benchmarks are as follows Equity scheme, Sensex or Nifty, long term debt, 10 years GOI, short term, 1 year T bill. Monthly income plan, MIP, have no exposure to equity. So it's true or false? It's false. MIP have an element of equity in its portfolio to give a boost to the fund's return. This can typically range from 5 to 30 percent. Who issues the certificate of deposit? Government, multinational banks, or mutual fund? They are banks who issue certificate of deposit. Which of the follow which of the below is are fundamental attributes of a scheme. The type of scheme, investment objective, terms of issue. I think it's investment objective. Wrong. All of the above is true. The type of scheme, investment objective, and terms of issue. The first step in developing model portfolio is deciding the size of portfolio, selection of mutual funds, setting of goals. It is setting of goals. Steps are as follows. Enable your investor identity has his investments, needs and goals. Understand the various financial products, the risk, return, liquidity, maturity. Combine the feature of financial product with the investor's financial needs and determine appropriate mix of investments. Suggest suitable mutual fund scheme with the asset choices. If the ARN code is not mentioned and the choice of plan is not indicated in the application form, then the application will be Considered as processed as a direct plan. Which of these assets has the highest risk of loss through theft? Real estate, commercial paper, shares, gold. It is gold. Which of the below is used to measure risk adjusted performance? Sharp ratio is used to measure risk adjusted performance. With respect to model portfolio for senior citizen, it will not have any exposure to equity. Straight, true or false? It is false. As for model portfolio for couple in the 70s with no immediate family, it should be 15% in diversified equity, 10% in gold ETF. 30% in diversified debt fund, 30% in MIP and 51% in liquid scheme. What is the total expense ratio for an index fund or an ETF? Total expense ratio shall not exceed 1% of the daily net asset value, so 1 is the right answer. If an investor in a multi-cap fund wants to know the industry-wise allocation of funds, then which document should he refer to? Fact sheet, Sidensa, Investment Management Agreement, Annual Account of the AMC. It should be fund fact sheet. Commodity as an asset class does not include food, crop, industrial metal, gold or real estate. 
Hello student, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share really important questions for an ISM mutual fund exam. This video is part of an ISM mutual fund playlist. This is one kind of mock test with you have uh, multiple choice questions. So we will get to practice all the questions along with answers I provided and this will give you a practical exposure to the exam. If you have any doubt regarding any questions, you can ask me in the comment box and I will be pleased to answer those. Let's start. Which of the following transaction is a transaction charge can be deducted? Online purchases, STP purchases are 10,000 and more purchases made on stock exchange. Purchases of 10,000 or more. There are various risk profiling tools available on the internet. The financial planner can use any of this risk profiling. It's just a process. It is false statement. Reason risk profiling is just a tool. And for risk profiling, we have to consider various important factors. What is the relationship between interest rate and real estate prices? They are inversely proportional, so rise in interest rate lead to fall in interest rate prices. One is correct. The unaudited account of mutual fund scheme must be published once in every six months on AMC website and AMFI website in you know, two newspapers. Both one and two on MC, um, AMC website and in minimum of two newspapers. STT is dash on transactions in debt or debt oriented mutual fund, including liquid fund units, not applicable, it is applicable only for equity related instruments. I mean, does not have a PAN card, he wishes to invest one lakh in a mutual fund scheme, it does not fall into any exempt investor category in which way he can invest he cannot invest as pan card is mandatory he could have invested if he wanted to invest 50,000 through SIP which document is not required for KYC process by mutual fund investor proof of income address identity or pan card proof of income number one is the right answer one of the disclosure which an AMC has to make is the commission paid to distributor, distributor wise amount mobilized in financial year, the annual report and abridged summary, all of the above. The annual report and the abridged summary on the website of AMC, so C is correct answer. What exceptions is made for investment by systematic investment plan if the annual investment is below 50,000? PAN card is not required. Which is the most appropriate measure of evaluating how closely an index fund is tracking its benchmark? It's tracking error. Number three is the correct answer. A company has an EPS of 5 and price to earning ratio of 30. What will be the market price of the share of this company? PE is equal to market price by EPS. So market price is EPS into PE. That is 30. Multiplied by 5. 150 is the correct answer. What would be the most appropriate benchmark for a short-term debt scheme? 10 years dated GOI, 3 years dated GOI, 1 year T-bill, no such benchmark exists. I think it is 3 years dated GOI, false. It is 1 year 